Hello friends, as you may know, I've currently been doing March for March where I try and walk 5,000 steps a day. Now this video isn't about that, but one of the things I've been doing as part of my walks is listening to more podcasts. And one of those podcasts is Rocket FM, link down in the description. And in the most recent episode, one of their sponsors was actually Microsoft Lists. Now, I never heard of Microsoft Lists before, but based on the description, it sounded a lot like Notion. And it turns out that the specific version that was being advertised in this podcast was MSA, which is supposed to be an online-only preview limited to 200,000 people. Now, thankfully, I've got access to that. I didn't have to do anything special. I just happened to uh, log in and it seemed to give me access. So cool. So as I said, it looks a little bit like a Notion. It sounds a little bit like a Notion clone, as it were. So today we are here to answer the very simple question, Microsoft Lists, big deal or Notion steal? So here we are over on Microsoft Lists MSA preview page. Now, the link for this, which I'll put in the description, is actually just lists.live.com, which will take you to this landing page. You can then click try preview or sign in and you know if you've got it set up already once you click sign in it takes you to this page here so nothing exciting i've got no new lists or anything because as this is a genuine first look all i've done is hear about it and check that i can use it and that's it so i guess we'll go ahead and create a new list and see what we can do my understanding from this front page here is it's available online only and, as I said, it's no cost, first come, first serve. It talks about staying organised with track and manage work, assets, schedules, contacts and inventory. And if we can scroll in a bit. We've got share and collaborate, so keep everyone in sync and working together in real time. Work efficiently, move projects forward with comments at mentioning notifications and customise your list. Choose ready-made templates, views, filtering and colour formatting for your list. So, well, quite frankly, this sounds like Notion to me. But yes, I, from my understanding, this is sort of a light version, online only, I think. Um, so we'll find out. So we've got a blank list, existing list, or from CSV, we've got templates. So, let's, what, what can we pick? Um... I'm torn between issue tracker and work progress tracker. Let's do work progress tracker because I like to see where I'm up to. Okay, so we get all these options here. So um, track priorities. So it gives you options about the template and you can go back and pick different ones if it doesn't quite look right. So we've got a work item, a description, a category, progress and priority. Uh, start date, due date and assign to some notes. Seems fair. Um, in my Notion template for tracking work, notes is more like next action. So I just jot down what the next thing is at a high level so I can see just glancing at it what needs to be done. So let's try it. Let's use this template. <laughs> okay, what can we call it? Um, um, is this Notion? Okay. Um, a work tracker to compare. Can't type today. Compare to my main notion work tracker so it's a work tracker it's a project tracker <clears throat> well let's pick orange because orange is a great color now we can choose an icon um i like brainwave it's of a light bulb so let's go ahead and create this let's create it quickly that's cool then you've got the work uh, work item you can sort it, you can filter it, you can set some column settings. Just zoom in a bit. There you go. You've got column settings, so you've got stuff like show, hide, format and pin. Then we can do the same column settings for description, category, progress. So can you set the type? We do edit, uh, here you go, type. So you've got choice, single line of text, multiple lines of text. Choice, number, currency, date and time. Not bad. Come up with that. Um, same with progress. Um, and we've got some predefined choices here. We can pick the colour with an icon, which is nice. So we can add a choice. We can say um, personal 
development because that's just important. And then we can uh, say it's orange because you know personal development and all. I don't know how you get the icons. That's okay. Default value. I guess we're planning. Yeah, I'll put it as none. More options. Drop down menus, not radio buttons. Interesting. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <clears throat> this is where we can turn on and off, allow multiple selections. So that's interesting because in. Um, uh, Notion. There's two different types. Let's just move this in there again. You can see it better. So, yeah, in Notion, there's multiple types. You've got select and you've got multi-select, whereas this one, it's just choice, and then you can trigger or toggle and allow multiple selections. That's interesting. Oh, you've got can't contain null. That's cool. Okay. Um, and you can group by priority. Oh, oh by items in progress. That's cool. So that's almost like a filter you'd want that you uh, don't already have. So if we I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna quickly off screen and then I'll bring it back. I'm going to log into my notion and we're going to see if we can recreate it. How easy is it to recreate it? Now I'm not suggesting that I'm going to be suddenly switching back to um away from notion because I'm invested and there's some things coming up with notion that I'm very excited about. Um but yeah, you know, there's things that um, need doing. So, okay, let's pick my book. This seems fair. Okay, so this is a page for my book because my book is a project. Um, you know, and I've set Dave Allen's context thing. So, you know, you can, I don't, I don't have so much going on in my projects. That I tend to actually filter by these. I always set them. But for me, it's more if I'm in a place where I can do something, like I'm still in a queue and it might be something I can do on my phone, like send an email or look up something. Um, I'll just read my project list and then be reminded it needs doing rather than filtering by things. But, you know, the context has a place when you're super, super busy. Um, but, you know, we've got status like we've got in there. We've got the title. We've got the category. In, in this case, it's, you know, are we doing it now? Are we waiting for something? Or is this something we want to do one day but not yet? <clears throat> and then you've got you know tasks related to it so in this instance i've got i need to update this but um you know yeah like i said i need to update it but you know you've got the chapters and the due dates at the time of making it and all that stuff um so that's all true and i've got um other bits that's related to so you know can we can we recreate this so we've got the the work item so this is going to be uh MongoDB and dot net book. Okay. So if we go can we go into it? Yeah, so we can load it as a page, so we can give it a description. Um uh, write a successful book on beginning MongoDB Atlas with dot net. Uh it's in progress. So that's not great, it like overlaps each other, but yeah. Work in progress. Priority, it's a high priority, I can't be late. Um, don't know the exact date I started it. We'll pick. Okay, that's not okay. It takes just takes a while, we're getting there. So <clears throat> let's see. I'll pick, let's say I started it. I don't know. November the 17th, also that's, I don't know. But uh, I do know when it's due, however. It's a bit icky to work with, I must say. It's a bit clunky. Like some of these components aren't, aren't moving smoothly. You saw it, like I had to click a couple of times. Uh, assigned to, that would be me. No? Okay. Can I do anything? Yeah, there you go. So it's time to me. And there's no notes. So what other things might we want to add? So we can that save, but can we add the other things that we care about to this? So we've got category. Uh this is 
what category do we put this in? Uh, so this is the different type. This is like tags of area of interest, but I don't want to do it like that. I want to do it as um, like current. So this is current. Um, which looks ugly. So can we come in here and add a choice, which is current, and make it pink. So some reason I'm new. I don't know how you add the pretty pictures. Let's take away manual values. Uh, and don't allow multiple selections. Okay. There we go. So that's got category now. Cool. Um, what other things are we missing? Uh, context. So we can add a. How do we add a column? Like so. And it's going to be a choice. It's going to be context. Um. What energy location and devices are required to tackle this task? This is um, we got home, we've got work, we've got computer, we've got laptop because. The reason I differentiate between these is that if I put computer, I mean my PC, which means it's something very specific I need to be sat at my desk for, like video editing. I can sort of do that on my iPad and other things, but on the, the general, any big projects for editing will go on my PC. So we've also got phone. Then we've got um, other choice. We've got uh, low energy, me medium energy. Yeah, so you can make choices on when you pick up a task based on, um, you know, how much energy you've got, whether you've got the right devices, whether you know all that stuff. So actually, we need to let's move. It. Oh, can we drag it? That's good. Okay, that's one positive. We can drag it to pick where it goes. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Actually, let's do it around like that. So this is home, work. Ah, we need to update this. There you go, I forgot something. But it's fairly intuitive. So um, you can't add manual values. However, you can do multiple selections. So if it's work, computer, laptop, high energy. It takes a lot of work to write a book. Um, I mean, I picked all of them because <laughs> you can do little bits of pending in Notion. But yeah, just for the sake of an experiment, that's okay. So then, can we do anything that then helps us track what's next? So can we do like subtasks? Like if we go into it, can we add, can we add some, not a view, we want to add a column. Which is, see, that's a hyperlink. See, we can't add tasks in the same way. I think you need a different type, maybe. Because we want to say, like, you know, what tasks are there to do. Like, notes is free form, but and we can call it um, next action. So it's multiple lines of text, so it's fair enough because you could be writing something quite long. I can require that it has information. Let's be honest, it's important that you identify it. Uh, write chapter five. Okay, there we go. So we've got all that stuff there, but now it's like, well, how do I track? the um 
um, you know, the tasks that they're doing for that project. But okay, group views are coming soon. Not about grouped by any items. Okay. Uh, group views are coming soon, so we can't do any of that. Okay. What other types have we got? Exit grid view, editing grid view. Okay. And we've got, that's going to be other Microsoft products, isn't it? Yeah. Go away. Okay. Let's go back to lists and see if we can create any other types. So, new list. We've got issue tracker. Maybe that's what we want. Let's see. Okay, so you've got issue, description, priority status assigned to. Nope. Okay, what if we start a blank template and just see what happens? New list. Blank list. This is going to be um, project. Tracker test, make it blue, and we'll make it allowed because it's a test. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so this gives us the ability to add all the columns, but essentially it doesn't give us the power to do what we want. Now, I don't know whether the main Microsoft list allowed us to do this, but I don't know if that's free. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to do was... I mean, like, maybe you can do it with hyperlinks. Um, but I don't think so, because it's not going to pull things in. Like, it's not a database. It's just a basic tracker. So, like, it's neat. And maybe there's more you can do with actual Microsoft lists. So if we Google Microsoft list, will it take us to the main page, not the MSA preview? Have a look. We've got this description, speaker, session type. And the suit with lists. Okay, I get it, but I guess that's the problem, isn't it? It's all about lists. It's not um for like creating links and relationships between them. Add automation. <clears throat> Okay, so it's interesting, and if you're in the Microsoft ecosystem, which I'm not, it's all part of, um, we use Google Suite, Google Workspace at work, so it's all Google Docs and Sheets and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I guess if you're in the Workspace and you just want a basic list thing that's a bit more than just a to-do list, this is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you know, this isn't going to replace my Notion board where I've got tasks with priorities that are linked. Uh, you can even do clever things, formulas with a due date. So you can say, um, you know, how how often in days you want the tra the task to recur. If it doesn't recur, then it's a one-time thing. Uh, if it does recur, it will stop being a one-time thing. And then it will also fill the next due date. So it's all very smart. So, yeah, you know, this is, this is simple, but um, it's not what I was expecting. So, yeah, you know, we've, we've had a look at Microsoft Lists. We've seen that it's good for creating, you know, tables of information where you've got columns and tags and things that are interesting. But there's no way to form the relationships between the, the items. So for things like task tracking. Now, that might be because Microsoft have got other products to do the same thing. It might be because I just wasn't using it right. Who knows? But from a high level, you know, answering the question, you know, Microsoft lists, big deal or Notion steal? I honestly say neither. It's it's not bad for its purpose, especially through the Microsoft world, because, you know, you can pull it all into things like Teams and integrate it all between the different Microsoft products. But I personally will not be giving up Notion for Microsoft lists. I was just curious. But let me know down in the comments if you've, tried Microsoft Lists, if you use the full Microsoft 365 version, what you use it for, or anything that I might have missed about Microsoft Lists, the, even the MSA preview, that it's quite interesting and that you want people to know. But there we go. I'm going to go back to Notion and uh, enjoy your week, friends. Bye!